Today, I will show you how to replace the transmission in your bike. I will replace the original Shimano 105 53 39 crankset and the original 13 28 cassette with a Pro Wheel 50 34 crankset and a Shimano Alivio 11 28 cassette. Spray some lubricant to facilitate removal of the crank screws. Use an 8mm hexagonal branch to undo the screws counterclockwise. Slide out the chain from the chain ring. Use a crank removal tool to remove the crankset. Use a 15 mm branch to screw the extractor clockwise. Use a 6mm hexagonal branch to remove the pedal from the right crank car, counterclockwise. Use an 8mm hexagonal branch to undo the screws counterclockwise. Use a crank removal tool to remove the left crank card. Use a 15mm branch to screw the extractor clockwise. Use a 6mm hexagonal branch to remove the pedal from the left crank arm clockwise. Put some grease on the square bottom bracket. the left crank arm.
screw it into place using an 8mm hexagonal wrench. some grease on the thread of the left pedal. Screw it counterclockwise using a 6mm hexagonal wrench. Install the right crankset on the drive side. Screw it into place using an 80mm hexagonal wrench. Put some grease on the thread of the right pedal. Screw it clockwise using a 6mm hexagonal wrench. Slide on the chain on the small chain ring. Now you have to adjust the distance from the front derailleur to the big chain ring to 3 mm. Use a 5 mm hexagonal branch to lose the front derailleur retaining screw. Tighten the screw after adjusting the distance. You can see that the shifter cable is now loose. You have to tighten up the cable. Use a 5mm hexagonal branch to loose and tighten its retaining screw. Test the shifter to see if you have to adjust the cable furthermore. Oh. 
Enlarge the brake pads by lifting the lever. Remove the wheel. Remove the quick release from the hub. Remove the cassette lock ring with the lock ring removal tool and the chain whip. Remove the old cassette. Remove and clean the dark disc, then reinstall it, hooking its three clips. Put some grease on the free hub. Slide the new cassette on the hub, matching the wider groove. Slide the 11 teeth sprocket. Screw the lock ring by hand first. Tight it up to 40 newton meters. Reinstall the rear wheel. Don't forget to lower the lever on the brake shoes. And then do the final test. So, if you liked this video, click on thumb up and subscribe to my channel.